Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We'd quickly like to introduce ourselves. My name is Ayushi Devnath and, and my name is Zui Jain. And we are from the river Sabarmati. Thank you all for coming today. We're looking forward in talking with you on our topic for the induction presentation 2019-21 batch. Let's begin. <coughs> So can anybody tell me from which application this picture has been taken? Yes, but that's not our topic for today. So how many of you all used to use Snapchat earlier? And how many of you still use the Snapchat? Oh, we see okay. a decline quite evidently. So this is our topic for today's presentation that is fall of user base of Snapchat. So let us show you a qu quick video on Snapchat for the people who are not aware about Snapchat. There. Can we have the light? Yeah. Audio. Audio. and makes early mornings a little more fun. It brings your best friend with you, anywhere you go, and comes with your very own mini-me. It's a camera with a map, so you can travel the world on your morning commute. It can lead to adventure, and help get you there. It's a camera for talking, because a snap says more than a text. So yeah, Snapchat is a camera, where how you feel matters more than how you look. So in the next 10 minutes, we are going to cover the following topics on the screen. Uh, we have chosen this topic because we both were Snapchat users earlier and we wanted to know what went wrong and explore for the same. So the snap facts, snap fa Snapchat is the fastest multimedia messaging application. It is fastest way to share a moment with a given time limit. You can share a moment for a particular time limit with a pe per person, your friend. It was released on July 2011. The CEO of Snapchat is Evan Spiegel and it was also designed by Bobby Murphy and Reggie Brown. It was developed by Snap. Pink. The headquarters are in San Francisco and the, it operates on the systems Android and iOS. So these numbers display the current statistics of Snapchat. By, uh, by sources, quarter 1 2019 earnings were uh, 32, th uh, 32 crores. Okay, so the reason for the downfall of user base of Snapchat. The first and foremost and very important reason for downfall of Snapchat was redesign of the application. Earlier, earlier the application used to be very simple. As you can see, it had only three pages. The one was for the chat, the second was for the camera, and the third was for the discover page. So it was very simpler to use, it was user friendly, and it had a chronological, chronological order made for the user. Afterwards, it added lot of features to attract user and it went wrong because people were comfortable with the normal user, normal how the Snapchat was used normally. It added features like stories, ads, it ha also added location, maps, so that you can track where fr your friends are using Snapchat. It was very unchronological, it was very haphazard and users became very uncomfortable using the Snapchat. The next foremost reason being the increased competition from the other social networking websites. For example, Instagram, Facebook and WhatsApp. Snapchat has this issue that all the social networking, all the other competitors can steal their major features, for example, stories and uh, 
develop it in a better way with more usability and accessibility and the second reason being the sna in, uh, snapchat has a specific age group to target which is between the teens to the late 30s whereas i bet none of our parents are there on snapchat but our parents are there on facebook so facebook is targeting the all all age groups and that is where the engagement rate is higher for instagram uh, uh, facebook as compared to snapchat okay so the third reason for downfall of user base of snapchat was the snapchat the users blame the drop on the company's android app the snapchat was made for two programming things like it was on android and ios on ios it was working properly but on android it was lagging so so snapchat became time consuming people were not able to use snapchat and they lost interest from snapchat and that's why they uninstalled it okay so due to the specified three reasons the major repercussions faced by snapchat were the dip in the uh, number of users especially during 2018 Okay it also dealt with lot of negative and anger among the user lot lot of social celebrities used this application as a social media for their publicity like kylie jenner and a lot of new people new celebrities and new upcoming talents were using snapchat for their social media and they all commented bad about snapchat and other platforms which for which they also signed a petition saying that they wanted their old snapchat back so the steps taken back for snapchat to enter the market again first being they rolled back the changes after a few months later in which the uh, the discover part and the friends part were segregated in such a way that the publishers uh, could monetize and distribute the stories and the friends could communicate with their uh, with their other friends on a, on a personal level it also had a new start a new strategy and changes as per the petition signed by users please play though today we're making snapchat more personal one of the complaints we've heard about social media is that photos and videos from your friends are mixed in with content from publishers and creators and influencers but your friends aren't content they're relationships that's why today we're separating the social from the media and reorganizing snapchat around your relationships to make it more personal as always snapchat opens to the camera to invite you to create and inspire you to explore the world around you and on the left side of the camera are your friends these are the people you talk to every day send snaps to back and forth and to the right of the camera is discover where content from publishers and creators in the community is personalized just for you when we first built snapchat we made it easier to express yourself by talking with pictures but today we're making it easier to find the people you want to express yourself with the friends you want to talk to will be there when you want to talk to them with these changes we hope that snapchat feels more familiar and inspires you to express yourself with your friends and explore more of the content that you love okay it also redesigned its application for the android user which is about to roll in end of 2019 it also started lot of ad campaigns like to android love from snapchat okay so in 2015 the ceo of snapchat made an alleged comment stating that snapchat is not for countries like india or spain but india being the digital hub now and having built half a billion population on the include uh, on the internet as well as maximum number of android users snapchat is now focusing on countries like india indonesia philippines to establish and expand itself so the conclusion what we learn from the fall of snapchat is you should always listen to your customer get it, get important feedbacks and evaluation from the customer so as to improve your application according to the users and they also started ads so that now people are approaching snapchat more for sales and marketing like sheen india etc so the this they have to provide value for brands and influence from the start 
and don't alienate your core users thank you so much, so much. <laughs>